boy. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth, and I'm back with you today for another reaction video. Today, I am reacting to a band from Russia called Imperial Age. The song is called The Way Is To Aim, and this request came in from Hodges412. Link to the original video will be down in the description section below. Let's get to it. Imperial Age, the way is the aim. Short but sweet. Get right to it. Very yellow. It looks like old film. Once you are ready to follow your way, leave all attachments behind. Whatever we look at the end of the day is not like seeing our minds. Sail through the night, the wind is blowing. Nothing in the world is stolen. We are free. Take any way you wish. I could tell by looking at the thumbnail that this is, would be exactly what it is. I had a feeling that this was going to be power, power metal just by looking at these. Yeah, there's definitely men in there. Men and ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's a better way to put it. Just by looking at these ladies and gentlemen, I knew that this was going to be power metal. I'm not the biggest power metal in the, uh, guy in the world. If you're familiar with me and you're familiar with my channel, you already know that. But... This is all right so far. I mean, it is what it is. Is this the most popular band coming out of Russia? I doubt it. But this is the song that's requested. So this is the song we're reacting to. The guy, what these some of these people are wearing, they look like part of the cast of Lord of the Rings. Let's get back to it. bass player and guitar player are throwing down. I thought we were going to get a different transition there. Beautiful girl with a beautiful voice. I'll tell you what, man. Those two, guitar, the guitar player and the bass player, are thoroughly enjoying what they're doing. Which is awesome, man. You can't knock that in any way whatsoever. Whether you like what they're doing or not, it's very evident that them two like what they're doing. And that's what's most important here, right? Beautiful girl, beautiful voice, beautiful scenery. When I think Russia, that is not what I think of. But I guess there's a lot to be learned. Back to it. Something very strange just occurred to me. Between the brunette lead singer 
the good looking chick. Between her and the guitar player, and between her and the bass player, stands the two people in the middle. What the hell is that? I, is that traditional in Russian music that you have a lead singer and two backup singers that don't do anything other than backup sing? I'll be honest with you. It's weird to me, but maybe not so weird in Russia. Not knocking it. Just very not typical for what I'm used to seeing. And it took me well over two minutes for it to dawn on me that those two people are there and they ain't doing nothing but singing backup vocals. Whatever. Let's get back to it. Was that the fastest guitar solo in the history of music? So what that right there showed me is that this band is definitely capable of doing more than what they've done up to this point in this song. This one dude here that's singing backup vocals on the left, that's the guy in particular that looks like somebody from the Lord of the Rings to me. Put some blonde hair on that guy, give him some pointy ears. You know what I'm saying. Don't even deny it. Let's get back to it. Let's finish this thing up. That bass player is banging. All right, I'll tell you what. I, I mean, that were that was about as stereotypical power metally of a song as any song that I've ever heard, any power metal song I've ever heard in my life. I mean, it was all right, I, but I have a very strong feeling in my gut, just from hearing one song from, from Imperial Age, that that is not the best that that band has to offer. I'm actually looking forward to hearing more from them. Little flashes of brilliance in there. There was a one double bass part in there that lasted less than 30 seconds. Part That part lasted probably less than 30 seconds. Uh, pardon me, very gross. A couple different times the guitar player started to seem like he was getting ready to do something and then he didn't. But all of that shows me that this band definitely has more to offer than that. I wasn't crazy about that. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that I was. I'm not one of them reactors that just says things to make you feel good. I'm going to give you my honest reaction. And my honest reaction is there definitely seems to be talent here, but I think that these guys have a lot more in them than that. And what's up with the two backup singers? Is that all they do? Are they there all the time? It's very strange to see a six piece band, not used to that, in the United States or any other country in the world for that. I mean, you see some bands like Slipknot. Slipknot's got fucking 37 members in that band, I think. And you see other bands that go down as low as three in, in metal. But I don't know. Six is an odd number for me. Unless you're Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden's got six members in it. Iron Maiden's got six members in it. So why the hell can't Imperial Age? 
Of course they can. Do those other people ever do anything else? Do they play instruments? Do they break out a, tr a, tr a tr triangle or a flute or it's something other than what they're doing right here? Let me know down in the comments section below and give me some more from Imperial Age. They have to have, there's more to them than this. I'm sure of it. And as I'm going to begin to request more and more often, give me some metal songs from bands in other countries around the world. I'm very curious to see what's going on on this big ass marble that we're all trending around on every single day. I'm getting out of here. If you guys like this, and if, you, if you're an Imperial Age fan, don't get all offended by this. This is just my opinion. If your opinion is that these guys are the greatest band in the world, congratulations. That's okay too. And it really is okay how we all feel about everything that takes place in these reaction channels. I wish the goddamn world would stop being offended by everything everybody else says. Don't look for validation. If you like this, that's awesome. Continue to like it. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. Thank you for watching, folks. Later.